Well, Electronica is always a great show. Its ability to bring many thousands of customers together. This is our worldwide Leitmesse and it's natürlich a großer Wettbewerbsvorteil für die Branche, dass diese internationale, globale Leitmesse hier in Deutschland stattfindet. Für die Halbleiterbranche ist das die weltgrößte Messe. We need a lot of companies, we need a lot of brains working together and this is a very good place to, to get to those contacts, to establish new partnerships. For me, Electronica is a place where we can come together, exchange ideas, and uh, I think from that point uh, we can move on to the next level. Internationalität. Innovation. It's big. <laughs> Aktualität. Zukunft. I think it is uh, fantastic, it's uh, collaborative, and uh, es wunderbar. Hello, and welcome to the last edition here at ETV. Today, we've got something really special for you. We are going to possibly witness the breaking of a world record. Y'all remember this? Good old Rubik's Cube. <laughs> right now, the human being record stands at 4.9 seconds, and the record for a machine is just 1 89th of a second. But Infineon has a machine that they think is going to break that world record today. But um, I don't know what all the fuss is about. I used to do this all the time when I was a kid. Let's see here. I can't even do it one side anymore. But the good news is we still have some highlights from ETV to bring you from Electronica 2016. In the startup area, the young company Mextulon is poised to make refined digital technology for school children and students more playful and thus more tangible. The Mextulon modular system should remove the entry threshold in this topic for young people. We have in our training as well as in the studium that it's we found in our training and also in studies that it's hard to grasp if we only work in theory or with books. We need something to touch for ourselves, to make it even clearer to us. What do we want to do and where digital electronics is going? Together with Rome Semiconductors, Vuot Electronic has launched new coils for inductive charging on the market. Over 100 smartphones and tablet models can now be charged with 15 watts, thanks to the new development in the Qi standard, which is three times faster than before. At nano dimension, it turns out that the idea for their new 3D printer wasn't in itself so brilliant. However, the implementation of the development process was. Mechanics, materials, software printing, all this was combined successfully. Examples of the types of things that you can print with this system are traditional PCBs, multi-layer PCBs, which is traditionally difficult to get hold of. So instead of turning to a third-party outsourced supplier, you print multi-layer, two-layer, four-layer, ten-layer, twenty-layer PCBs in this machine. And something also that is new, even for us, is three-dimensional circuitry. So not flat circuits, but if you want a spiral or if you want a slope, why not? A 3D printer doesn't care. From the Dresden Labs, Fraunhofer FEP has brought the extremely energy-saving OLED micro displays for data classes to the world's leading trade fair. They can remain in use for an unbelievable 100 days. Changing, zooming, rotating and configuring objects on the screen. The intelligent display modules of the product family EA Uni TFT, which Electronic Assembly is presenting for the first time to a larger audience at Electronica 2016, can do all that. Electronica 2016 is always fascinating. And in just a few minutes, the managing director, Mr. Falk Zinger, will be giving us a few facts and statistics about Electronica 2016. 
Die Elektronica hat ihre Position als weltweit größte Elektronik. Elektronica has impressively confirmed its position as the world's largest electronics trade fair. The global electronics industry met up in Munich over the last four days. We had exactly 2,913 exhibitors from 50 countries at the trade fair, and that is an increase of 7% from 2014. We welcomed around 73,000 visitors at Electronica this year, and this is a very handsome number. The slogan of Electronica 2016 was Connected Worlds, but Secure. Accordingly, connectivity and digitalization have played the crucial role at this year's Electronica. But the issue of security has also been a central theme throughout the trade fair and the framework program. the time 0.637 which is clearly below 0.887 we made it a new world record based on our congratulations to the whole team as you just saw the world record was indeed broken by Infineon's machine the new world record is now just under 1 64th of a second I don't know about you but I hope in 2018 when Electronica is here in Munich again I'll be able to figure this thing out. See you in 2018 on Planet E. Hmm.